world um, in Bridal Bar's post. So we're saying goodbye to the setup. Sweaty. I just finished a 40 minute full body circuit workout with a cardio finisher um, with Sydney Cummings. Um, I've been doing her summertime fine program. Wow, I am really out of breath. Uh, I've been doing her summertime fine program. So it started in May and we are about to finish the second tier of it. So there are three tiers. May, June, July, um, and she has a new program almost every month. This one is just three months in duration, and I feel so good after completing them. I found one, they're free, so it's very budget friendly in a time where Chris and I are really trying to save up for different things, uh, for our wedding and different things going on in life. Um, and two, I found that I personally really like workout programs where it's just the trainer it feels to me it's more personal more one-on-one -on -one. i know it's not like having an actual personal trainer in the room with you but i found that i'd much rather just watch one person and one trainer than have a trainer with a group of people it just hasn't always felt right to me because it never fails that the person doing the modification is always someone who is overweight and or not at the same physical level as everyone else who's doing the program and that to me is pretty discriminatory because even people who are at a moderate or even an advanced level of fitness still have to do modifications um, and these have modifications it's just Sydney in the corner and yeah I've been keeping up with probably six five to six workouts a week she does have one every day, but I've just really tried to be intuitive this week. I've only done two, uh, but overall I would say on average, I'm doing five to six of the workouts a week and it feels really good to get back into strength training um, at this rate. Weights that felt very, very heavy at the beginning are starting to feel lighter, which is always a good feeling. And you're like, oh, like I am progressing. And so yeah, I've just been trying to be really consistent, especially leading up to all of the wedding events and it's not necessarily, you know, something that I'm not trying to, like my end goal is, is not to lose weight. My end goal is to feel good and to feel strong because you have to have stamina to get through um, social events, especially after about a year and a half of not seeing people, not, having to go out and do and, and be on your feet and be mentally and physically there. And so some other, I'd say fitness related updates, of course, so with Bridal Bar, um, we have some really big things coming up through the end of this year that I'm very excited to um, continue to share with you all. I know I haven't been as present on my channel and life has just been crazy my work has really picked up um, professionally for like my full-time job and there are just other things going on in life and this unfortunately is something that I was like hey I can step away from it because uh, it does take time I, I love having like this creative outlet however um, it, it is timely and I've just chosen to be present in other areas of my life but if you're new Welcome, if you've been here, 
thanks for sticking around. Uh, my name is Taylor, I am 25. I live in Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm getting married in November of this year. And I work a full-time job here in downtown. We're starting to also go back into the office probably one to two days a week. And yeah, welcome and come along for the ride. This is probably going to be like a weekend in our life. Let's see, what do we have on tap? Today, we've walked, I've exercised, and we're about to go take a bunch of stuff to Goodwill, and I also have a few bags for Thread Up. We are trying to clean out and also try to sell some things that have just been sitting around. Clothes is one of the easiest things to do. And then we're gonna tackle the storage room. So we have this huge storage room um, that is in our basement that was organized at one time, like closer to when we moved in, but we've just really thrown shit everywhere. And so we're going to try to clean that up and clean it out because we have like a few TVs that we don't use and they're good TVs. And so we're gonna try to sell them and go through a few other things. I also need to write thank you notes. We had an engagement party last weekend. And what else? Um, we have options for honeymoon destinations. I'll take you guys along with us to look at those. And yeah, probably just a few other different errands. And then tomorrow, my mom has her last, first and last function as a district governor in Rotary. Rotary years run um, like end of June to end of June and so her entire district governor year obviously we've been in COVID and things have just been able to open back up and she's really just been able to have events and unfortunately she didn't get to have an installation there's an installation for the incoming governor and so uh, that is tomorrow evening on Sunday and so Chris and I are gonna drive down to my hometown is actually where it's at for that event and drive right back so, a lot going on, but excited to take you guys with me. And we just got back from Ulta, and so I'm about to go through and show you all what I got. Now that I've got it out of the packaging, it's actually like a really nice velvet, which I didn't realize because you can't touch anything in Ulta still. This was like one of the only palettes that had at least four that I wanted and it wasn't too large. And I believe that this was 25 or $29. So next I got the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer that's oil free. I have been using this tinted moisturizer and I think it's just the regular one. I use it every day, I love it. I'm almost out of it, but I saw where I don't know if this was just recently launched or if it's just something that they've really pushed out in their marketing recently. Okay, moving on, still in the Laura Mercier family, I've basically switched like all my face products to Laura Mercier. I've got their Secret Camouflage Concealer and I got it in two different shades. Okay, dual stick and one is for brightening and illuminating like underneath your eyes and another is corrective and so one is more of like a matte corrective concealer so one is more of like a matte that you would put on any blemishes or anywhere else on your face and the other is meant to be under your eyes wow that glare is just really bad um and so i got this is my regular color again it's an n1 but then i also got this darker color um that's a five i'm going to use this as a contour just because I didn't really have any contour sticks and I already know that this does well on my face and um, I got one of the I don't even know how you say this a spoolie whatever it's called brow soap using um, but Anastasia again I've heard really great things especially about their brow stuff and since I have my eyebrows microbladed I really don't need a ton and I've been using brow gel but just wanted to switch it up because I think in the long run this is end up going to end up being cheaper than like continuously buying a clear brow. Alright. Oh, yeah. He said, oh yeah. Where are we going? Where are we going? Do you have a pup cup?
anytime we tell him he's going for a car ride. We go straight to the vehicle. Gunner, I'm sorry. You said, where is it? Gunner, I'm sorry. Are you hiding it from me? No. Is it in the door? I forgot your pop cup, buddy. Before I start to do my makeup, not combining them though. Okay. Anyways, um, I'm trying to decide on what I'm wearing to this event, and I am still doing the monthly Rent the Runway subscription. So I have two dresses to choose from. This is the first time I'm trying either on. So be an adventure it feels much shorter than what it looked like in the advertisement too short by any means it's very comfortable it's very stretchy I feel very 70s the other thing is that I'm gonna have to sit in this for a good two hours while in the car um, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm not really sure what this thing is. It's almost like there should be a tie of some sort. And this is the second one. I apparently was really into this ruffle situation. With these two, it is a little big, which is what they said on the reviews, but I sized down and it's still a little big. I do like just like how comfortable it is. And it's just a very like summery, but I have a feeling it's almost like too big. Honestly, I think that this might be my final decision. I'll ask Chris just to make sure. I've had this dress for since I was a junior in college. Okay, so I have actually done a face mask and I've put on moisturizer, sunscreen, and a little bit of oil. I am going to test out the oil-free tinted moisturizer. It does feel a bit thicker. I will say than the regular. This one has SPF 20 and I can smell the sunscreen. It's not a bad thing. It's just something I'm noticing. And then it is very light. I didn't go a shade lighter in this just because I don't wear makeup a ton i wanted something for like every day so this is actually the same color as my tinted moisturizer and the same color as my foundation i'm going to use the laura mercier perfecting foundation i've been using this for the past few months i haven't changed my shade for summer but i do wear like tanner <laughs> year round so, uh, I don't really change that often. Wait for my eyebrows first. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I haven't done this in a while. Um, I use Glossier's Milk Jelly Milky Oil, and I use this to take off my eye makeup. But ever since I got my eyebrows microbladed, 
my and I got a combo brow so it's microbladed and powder brows my makeup artist told me that I need to make sure I go in with some makeup remover and or water with a q-tip over it just so my eyebrows don't look faded either I'm about to and again I'm gonna use the Anastasia soft glam 2 I'm going to use these, this one, that one, and this one. <laughs> also, to chat about makeup while I'm actually doing my makeup, I scheduled my, or well, I didn't, my planner did, scheduled my hair and makeup trial for the wedding, and I learned within the scheduling process that you should do it, you should always do your trial in the season that you're getting married in because your skin which makes sense right your skin is going to adapt to the weather and is also going to be like a different shade um and so because we're getting married in november i'm actually not doing my hair and makeup trial <laughs> until the end of october <laughs> um which of course i could always like go to the salon and get it done ahead of time um, I like, had a mini freak out <laughs> when she was like, yeah, you don't really need to get it done until like October. And I was like, um, <laughs> but I've started looking at Pinterest for like inspiration and stuff. And I really don't want anything crazy. I don't want anything special. Um, and so I was like, you know what? It's going to be okay gonna be okay so we are just going to run with it um, and I really just want like neutrals um, and just honestly some of them makes my eyes pop Anastasia soft glam 2 palette recommend that was easy painless don't you love when some days when things like not that this doesn't matter a ton, but like last weekend when it was our engagement party, I was like almost in tears <laughs> over my makeup. And then for something like this, I'm like, oh, that looks really good. And I'm like, it's an, it's an event for my parents. <laughs> and that is why I am not doing my own wedding makeup. I actually have a lot of coworkers who are like, why don't you just do it yourself? And I'm like, absolutely not that's a lot of it's a lot of pressure on yourself that I don't know some people would probably much rather do it themselves because of that control but for me I'm like I don't know if worse comes to worse yes I can do my hair and makeup and it'll be fine but we're we're hoping to avoid that People who really know how to make up might come after me for how I'm doing this, but it's okay. Wow, we love that. All right, a little bit more. Also, sorry, I'm talking a ton. Wow. All right. Now we're gonna use the brow freeze. You can see the reflection. Um. Don't come for me. I'm using it how I think I'm supposed to use it. So it's the applicator, and I'm pretty sure this is how you're supposed to like put it on your brows, like the product, so that you're not using your finger. See? Oh, whoops. Okay, this is the final makeup look. I just put on a little bit of eyeliner and mascara and I use drugstore eyeliner and mascara. It's Maybelline Stiletto. Both of them waterproof black. I've used this since high school. I don't think I'll ever change. It just holds my eyelash curl so well and it works for me. But I love it. I just put a little bit of the Laura Mercier setting powder over it 
and used the All Nighter Ultra Matte setting spray. We're good to go. Now I'm gonna figure out what to do with my hair and continue listening to my podcast so you won't hear me talking at all. But I love Kate Kennedy, Be There in Five podcast. Uh, Sarah, uh, one of my best friends, introduced me to it and <laughs> it's so good. Just go listen to it. Go listen to it. Let me know if you listened to it already and you're another Be There in Five fan. Let me know and we can talk about it. <laughs> All right, she's got the finished look. Such a blue sky. Blue sky, blue guy. For this district, you showed up. It has been a year in leadership. Leadership in our families, leadership in our business, in our communities, and certainly leadership in Rotary. And I stand before you just immensely grateful because of you. It's an amazing foundation that I've had to stand on, and it's an amazing team that I've had to serve with, but it all starts with family. And so I start. Don't forget, we are home. Thank you all so much for watching. This is a fairly long vlog, so thanks for sticking around. If you've made it this far, have a good evening or whatever time it is that you're watching this. I appreciate you all. See you next time.